Hello everybody, it's Julie here, I'm back, also known as Envira Style Apparel. Thank you for continuing to come back for the torture of watching me go on. Um, I am a reseller that resells ladies clothing mainly on eBay and I am going out again today, yes, again, to go and buy some more stock. I basically I listed everything yesterday what I bought yesterday so now I'm going out again today to see what we can find so let's go and see what I can get <laughs> my god I'm so cheesy I do apologize <laughs> Right, so today's charity shop of choice for me and Rob is the Dove House Hospice on Anlaby Road in Hull. Um, yeah, it is a good one. I had a quick look at the toys here and I ended up getting Dexter a little something off the shelf, which he will be getting tomorrow if he's been a good boy of his first week of school. So yeah, that wasn't to resell, but it's good anyway. It was a good bargain. I had a good look in here. There was a lot of really good stuff, which I will show you at the end. I'm not sure whether I've got an actual lot of things that I bought on camera, but we will soon see. I don't always pay attention to uh, what I video and what I don't. I'm a bit, a bit, you know, away with the fairies because I'm thinking about what profits I can make on things and what brands I'm looking for. Um, it wasn't very busy in here today, which was great. I didn't have to queue to get in, which was even better. Um, so yeah, hand sanitizer on, mask on, and off we go. I will be back when there is something interesting to say. As I always say, I'm going to have to get some new material. <laughs> Bought a few tops from here today. I don't normally get stuff from the top rails, but there was some pretty good stuff. So, you know, stay tuned to the end to see what I got. I also got some amazing shoes. Um, yeah, that's one of the tops I got. It's pretty cool. It's a Jerry Weber. So, yeah, hopefully I will make some good profits on that. There was a couple of Jerry Weber tops in here. Um, I don't know if the other one is on camera, but I'll let you know if I see it. But I'll show you it properly at the end anyway. The prices are really good. 
in Dove House. I find it very reasonable. They don't tend to mark much up high. And if they do, it's for good reason. Um, they are pretty reasonable with the prices. And a lot of brands that they don't know about, you can get for really cheap. So it's cool. And we like this one because it's quiet. Um, it's right out of the way. There isn't many people around. So um, it's always only got one or two people in at a time, even before all this pandemic stuff happens. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah, I got that. That is lovely. I love stuff like this. I buy stuff like this all the time. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's vintage and it's beaded. When I've actually got that home, I have actually checked it over and it looks pretty good too. So stay tuned to the end to see what I am going to put that on my shop for. I will say at this point now, while I'm doing this voiceover, I have actually taken all this stuff home and I have listed it. So it's all on my shop now. If you want to check my shop out, go onto my Instagram. The link is on my channel and it's in my link tree on my Instagram yeah, I bought that too. That's a Jack's Ver. Very good. Um, yeah, but some things aren't on the video what I bought. Um, I got a couple of exciting bits that you might see coming up. I was really gutted because I didn't find any jeans. Um, I was looking for jeans and I was absolutely convinced that I would find some today because I found two pairs yesterday. But no, nothing. Alas, no jeans for me. But I will find some. I think we are actually going out again tomorrow. So there'll be another video in coming tomorrow of another haul. So fingers crossed I get quite a few things to make it interesting. Yeah, no jeans. It was all high street stuff, stuff that I don't really pick up, which was a shame. But there you go, you can't win them all, guys. I'm going to be eyeing up a real nice pair of shoes in a moment. 
I don't even know whether I've got really good camera angles on these. I was looking at some shoes earlier that were brand new, but I decided not to get them. But these are a regular choice, and uh, I'm a sucker for this brand, as you will find out at the end. Yes, I did buy those and a few other bits, so stay tuned to find out what I got. I am very excited about today's haul. I think it was really successful. Hubby got a lot of stuff too. If you want to see what he's selling at the moment, follow him on Instagram. He is England's Fashions Men's Wear. Um, I tag him in a lot of my stuff, so follow him from there. I have a feeling you lot are going to get sick of me over the next few weeks. <laughs> Hopefully, if things stay the way they are and we don't get into lockdown and everything's good, I'll be going out a lot. And I'll be doing lots of mini hauls rather than a great big one. I tend to buy quality, not quantity these days. So it is small hauls here and there, but we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm so pleased with what I got today. As usual, I'm going to show you my... I've got three favourite things this time, so I'll show you them last. Anyway, I went to Dove House with my husband, as you will have seen, me and Rob, on the previous footage, and bought a few things. Now, this is one that we just go to because it's isolated. Um, it's on a long road that goes into Hull City Centre from where we live and it's basically a charity shop on its own. So well, it's one of those ones that when we go there, that's the only one we go to and we always tend to find a lot of really good stuff. So it's not such a big deal that we only go to one. Anyway, this was £2.50. It is, I think it's called David Nieper or it might be Nieper. This is, it's England, anyway, it's an English brand. It's got shoulder pads. Now, I'm loving buying things with shoulder pads at the minute. Don't know why, but yeah, this is just, it's a big top. A nice, baggy, oversized top. Um, it's got three quarter length sleeves. I was drawn to it mainly because of all the metallic detailing. I love all the studs. Um, I think you can see their studs if I put it up closer and it's got the metallic buttons i think it's really really nice and um, i don't actually know what size it is but it's a it's a good size i believe it's a good size let's have a look oh it's a size 22 that's amazing it has got 44 percent linen in it which is amazing so from two pound fifty i think i'm going to put that on for about 30 35 might even creep up to 40 we'll see it's in really good condition so yeah i think that's nice it's nice this time of year nice and cool but also covers you up which is great then i'm a big fan of this brand at the minute i keep picking it up everywhere jerry weber this was one pound fifty now i don't tend to buy a lot of tops and t-shirts and things these days because there isn't a lot of money in them but when it's one pound fifty and it's a jerry weber i'm gonna get it this is quite textured um, and it's also quite see-through. Don't know whether you can see me through it. You probably can the back. Woo! But yeah, it's nice. It's just a little grey top with quite a sheer back. It's got this lovely like antique type um, pattern to it. It's kind of textured as well. Um, this, like I say, was £1.50. It is... I don't know what size it is. Um, I hate this because let's cut the labels out and I don't know what size it is. It's got nothing exciting material wise in it, but I think looking at it, that's probably, probably a size 10, maybe a 12 at a push, but I'll measure it up anyway. But yeah, I'm going to put that on for 30, see how it goes. Then I've got another Jerry Webber. <laughs> I just couldn't resist leave it. I couldn't leave it. Jerry Webber collection, which is the same line that i got the blue and white jacket in yesterday this was 150 as well i said to my husband i wouldn't have picked these up if there were any more than that because they're just tops but this is quite funky it's quite um like i found jerry weber can be quite old-fashioned and vintage looking and something that would appeal to the older market but this is quite nice this is like this is quite young i think and hip and it's got all the writing across the back as well 
young and hip you had me i'm saying things that my mum used to say and older generations have said before must be getting to that age now but anyway <laughs> Urgh, pet peeve pet peeve right there cut out but anyway they've put on the label and i don't always go by charity shop label sizes but they've put that it's a size 20 now to be honest i could quite believe that by looking at it i will measure it up though and put it in and make sure that it is because it is quite it is big so yeah um again 30 pound i'll put on that then i picked up this favorite brand of mine jack's vert and um, this was two pound lovely little sequiny top sheer sleeves um it's got the beads on the front and i do believe they are all there you watch i'll see now that they aren't but yeah it's really nice like a chiffony material this is a size 14 and it's polyester so nothing particularly exciting but i reckon i can get about 30 pound for that really nice then I bought this. I bought this without researching it. I got it because I like this style. It's vintage as far as I am concerned, or vintage feel. I am gonna have to research it, but it's a brand called Spicy. Now, I don't think this brand is particularly wonderful, but I really like this. And if you watch my channel regularly, you'll see that a couple of weeks ago when I went to Sue Ryder, I think it was, I bought a Frank Usher or I think it was Frank Usher, something like that. Anyway, it was a it was a Frank brand, as I call them, because there's lots of Franks. Um, but it was a vintage style jacket, the same as this. Just look at that, isn't it beautiful? Now I haven't looked it over a hundred percent, but I do think that all the beads are there. Um, the cuffs are looking good. Looks good on the front. Looks good on the back as I'm looking. Um, yeah, around that cuff as well. All really nice. There's like little, the, the beads are put in, like arranged into little flowers. I just think it's really pretty. Um, I haven't seen anything that makes me think there's anything missing on it. It's got like a paisley pattern to it in beads. It's really nice. Um, all the flowers are there, I think around the hem and around the, I'm just checking the hem. Yeah, I don't see any missing beads at all. So I'm going to put this on for about £40 because it's, I think it's vintage. Um, it's very heavy, very nice, size 14. It says dry clean only, polyester made in India. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for about £40 with that and see how I go. Um, I do think it's vintage. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but I think vintage feel, definitely. So yeah, that's that was a really good find. Right, here's my three favourite things haven't found this brand before now when i was in the shop i deleted the footage <laughs> because i put my camera the wrong way and it keeps annoying me now when i do that so um and to be honest you couldn't see really what i was looking at anyway because i was holding my camera dodgy but i went to the first rail inside the shop so you go through the door and there was a rail right here to your, to the left hand side and it had all coats and jackets and things on so i went over and i filmed me looking through it this thing that I bought fell off the hanger. So when I'd finished the video, I stopped the video and I picked this up off the floor and found it. That's how I found it. So I was really chuffed. Um, I've never found this before. I know a lot of my reseller friends on Instagram from the USA find this brand a lot. It's mainly shoes and bags, but I found it in clothing. So it was four pounds and it is Steve Madden. Can I show you that? Silly label in the way, look. Steve Madden. And it's a poncho. It's really nice. I think I'm going to have to model it for you, which I never do. <laughs> but I just think it. you need to see it on. Now, me and my hubby decided that it's very null fielding. Something that you'd imagine him wearing or he would wear. Let me just put that down a bit. There we go, look, look at that. And it's got like a big oversized like hook and eye to fasten it up. I just think this is really cool. And I'm thinking, you know, again, like with the coat yesterday, I'm like, let me keep it for myself. <laughs> it's like I've got wings, it's amazing. Or a cape look. <laughs> 
I just love it. I'm thinking probably £40 for this. Um, there are no blemishes, no marks. I thought it was wool, but it's not, unfortunately. Um, where's my material tag? It is acrylic and polyester with fur fair, which is good. Fur fair around the collar. There we are. Yeah, there's the collar. It's just lovely. Really, really nice. Really funky. Quite, um, I don't know what the word is. Like cowboys and Indians, you know, like the Indians in the old films would wear. It reminds me of something like that. Or Jon Snow out of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I just think it's really cool anyway so i was really pleased to find that because it's a brand that's on my be on the lookout list be on my, it's on my bucket list and um, so really pleased with that i'm gonna put it on for 40 possibly i might put it up for 50 and see how i go now there are other ponchos on ebay by steve madden that aren't anything great material wise and they range from 20 pounds up to 50 pounds but there isn't one like that and i think that is really nice these ones that i've seen aren't very special they're either just a throw over type thing with a few tassels they're quite thin or they're just plain now that i think is cool um i don't know what my keywords are going to be on here but we'll see but yeah my two favorite favorite things okay so I was walking past one of the shelves. This is on my footage. So you'll have seen these that I've bought them. Um, I looked at them for a while. I was like, mm, should I get them, should I not? And then I was like, what am I even thinking for? Of course I should get them. So these, oh, <laughs> these were eight pounds. Um, already looked at the comps for these. Look at them, frogs, frogs on the soles and flamingos pink flamingos on the toes they have got slight marking but you can't really see it um i don't think these have been worn much at all they're a size 38 which i think size 38 is that a five i think it's a five and they're a regular choice they are lovely they don't look like they've been worn at all i mean look there's just no wear to them um yeah found a pair exactly the same on eBay that sold for 50 so I am gonna put these on either 50 it'll either be 49.99 it'll be somewhere between 64.99 and 49.99 haven't decided yet and um, they have got a few tiny little marks I think you might be able to see that there but it's nothing obviously I'm gonna disclose that and we'll see how we go but I'm really pleased with that I mean I might even put them on for more a regular choice shoes are really sought after and yeah i found another pair <laughs> now these are beautiful i just want to take a minute to explain that i am in love with the regular choice shoes when i am making millions doing this which is gonna happen i am gonna have a cabinet full of these bad boys because i love them they are amazing now these have got parrots inside these are a size six these ones parrots inside look at that they've got this lovely flowered beaded detail on the front i love the shape of the toe it's like a wide fitted pointy toe i just love it buckle all antique style very very nice there are no marks on these ones the only marks are on the bottom where they've been worn a little bit and the bottom is scuffed off but just look how beautiful they are so these again anywhere between i'll show you the other one as well anywhere between 65 well 50 and 65 i think i'm gonna put them on for yeah it's just they're just lovely the heels are in you know there's no scuffs no marks so these are gonna be literally i'm gonna list these in a minute <coughs> I ain't told you how much these ones are. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. Um, these were ten pounds, so I paid eight for those, and I paid ten pound for these. Um, it probably showed you on the video anyway, but they're just lovely. The insides of the shoes are even just so well thought out. I always find these shoes really comfortable as well. They always have like a sponged 
bottom it's not like memory foam or anything like that but they're comfy and round the edges are usually quite soft you know they move quite easily they're not too hard on your heel i just love these shoes so much <laughs> and another painful thing is that these ones are my size and i have tried them on and they fit me like a bloody glove so you know it's like cinderella and a slipper and it but again, I can make too much money on them to keep them. And I aren't going anywhere at the moment where I can wear them. I mean, going out, finding stuff for my shopping, these I would imagine would be quite painful. Um, I'm not going to be able to get around as much stuff and I'm probably going to fall over quite a lot. Um, I'm not great in the stiletto type heel, thin heel. I like my block ones. I've got an amazing pair of regular choice shoes and they've got like a... It's almost like, um, it looks like it's one of those like concertina type heels, but it's pulled out. Um, I can't even explain it. I've had toys before for the kids when they're babies and you can pull the things out to move them round. And it's like a plastic that pushes in and pulls out. The heels look like that. And then they've got a big round stud on the bottom and they're real thick. I love them. Um, but these, I just don't think I could wear, but... They are beautiful, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? Like gold and shiny and glittery and just spectacular, basically. I just love the toes. They're gorgeous. Anyway, I'll stop uh, drooling all over these. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm looking at, for put it this way, just for an £18 layout investment, I'm looking at at least a hundred pound back on those so happy days Yay. anyway as always thank you so much for watching if you could hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video that would be ace um i need all the help i can get it's great great to give me a thumbs up thank you very much um if you like my videos and you want to see more subscribe hit the bell i am uploading quite frequently at the minute but not really long videos so yeah um come back and see what i get next time and um, my my items sold on ebay video will be at the end of the week i always do one of those even if i sell very little i'll still do one even if it's a minute long but this week's shaping out to be pretty good so far so i think it's going to be a good one anyway i'm going to go and list these guys now so thank you so much again i'll see you all soon bye bye <laughs>